Hope you enjoyed this short clip showcasing this cool car. So this is a new product coming from iFlight. It's called the Mekan. It's an FPV car and it's used the DJI Air Unit. On June 2020, iFlight released a video to their Instagram account showcasing this cool car. At the time they didn't name it or they didn't tell us uh, if they're going to sell it or not. But not long ago I saw on the website they start selling the frame and the wheels and also sell those uh, des uh, specially designed motors for the Mekan. So here we can see the product page on iFlight website. The frame and wheel cost uh, 70 bucks, not including the electronic you will need to get in order to build it. So if you want to build the Mekan FPV car, you will need to buy the frame. You also need a Sussex AF4 flight controller, which is an all-in-one with an ESC. You will also need a special design Shim 2207, which are uh, just a regular 2207, but instead of being 1800 or uh, 2400 kV, uh, they are a uh, 1000 kV. You will also need a DJI Air Unit or a VT or an analog VTX and iFlight recommend using a forest battery uh, with a 1300 mAh capacity. So now you know which parts you need in order to build the Mekan, so let's start the build. So in front of me we can see all the parts we need in order to build the iFlight Mekan. We have the wheels, we have the carbon parts, we have the TPU parts, the screws and the motors. Here we have the flight controller, which is an all-in-one flight controller with an ESC for my flight. It's the Sussex AF4. And we also have the DJI Air Unit. My version has the MMCX2 SMA cable, but if you have the version with the MMCX 90 degree straight to the antenna, it will be easier for you. Now that we saw all the parts, let's start the build. We first start with the bottom plate. We need to uh, connect four standoffs. We'll take this 32 mm standoff and this M3 8 mm uh, screw. Now each standoff is in his own place. Next, we'll take those small standoffs and screw them into the motor plates. We have four plates and we need each plate to have uh, two standoffs. So now that we are done with the standoff uh, and the plates, we'll take our four motors and we'll take the screws that came with the motor and connect each motor to its own plate. Now we have four motors connected uh, to the plates. We'll take the rest of the plates we have and we need to connect them to the standoffs. So now that we are done with the motor, let's put them aside. We need to take the remaining standoff and connect them to the middle plate using the long M2 screws. Here we can see where we need to connect the standoff. We have those two millimeter hole in the middle plate. We need to use the one that I'm showing. After connecting the four standoff, we'll take the top plate and see that the holes are aligned. Now let's take the bottom plate and the four motors and connect them as we can see here. We just need to push the motors to the right places. And now just take the middle plate and put it on top of the motors and connect the four screws. Now we'll take the M3 screws, the longest M3 screws that, that comes in the kit and put them inside the holes for the flight controller. Now let's take the flight controller and place it. Make sure you look at the arrow of the flight controller and place it uh, to the front of the car. Here we can see the front of the car. Now that we have the flight controller in its place, 
we need to solder the motor wires. As you can see here, I'm routing them uh, through this cutout. Make sure to cut the motor wires to the right length so they will stay inside the cutout. So now after soldering the motor wires, we need to put the TPU parts. Here we can see the two TPU parts for the air unit. The part have a standard hole to go to the standoff and one which has a place to put the nut in, as we can see. So the standard hole go to the standoff in front uh, on the front side of the car and the nut goes in the back. Now you can see when we take the top plate, those two screw holes can be used with the nuts in the TPU. Now let's take the DJI air unit. We can see I already put my receiver inside the TPU part. Now the last thing we left with is to plug everything to the flight controller. I have one plug for the air unit and the receiver. And after that, we need to place everything in its own place. Now that we finished connecting all the electronic and the top plates, We'll take the wheels and connect them to the mechan. Connecting the wheel is very simple. All we need to do is, to, is just tie those two screws with the Allen key that we got in the kit. But before we will do this, we need to go to Betaflight and configure the mechan. The first step is going to iFlight website and search for the mechan. Now scroll down and press the mechan car factory dump. Before getting into Betaflight, open the file we have just downloaded. If you are not using the DJI controller, you may need to change this setting in order to make, uh, make your receiver work properly. So instead of uh, uh, the set SBUS bad fast equals on, you need to change it to equals to off. Now let's take the mechanic and connect it to our computer and open Betaflight. First thing we go to CLI, load from file, and then we choose the uh, file we just downloaded and press execute. After the uh, mechan has finished the execute and reset itself, we need to go to uh, the ports and we need to check that everything is okay, the serial RX and the uh, UARTs. Here in the receiver, make sure that your receiver is work and the channel map is correct. In the pit tuning, don't change anything uh, and don't touch the rate profile. Here you need to assign an arm switch, a beeper and a flip after crash so you can reverse. In the OSD, you can change uh, uh, as you want. And if you're using an analog uh, VTX, you need to uh, make sure you set up here in the uh, video transmitter tab. So the mechanic is ready. All we need to do in order to drive it is to use the throttle to move forward and the yastic to move right and left. So first thing first, we need to arm it. And now it's armed. And when we give it a little bit of throttle, it will start going forward. So let's say you are got stuck in this in this position when you try to move forward you can't. So in order to move in reverse all you need to do is to move the switch to flip after crash and then arm it again and using the right stick you can move it backwards. So after driving the mechan for a couple of minutes I uh, noticed that uh, when the throttle is at zero I don't have steering. So if I'm going fast and I want to slow down, I of course decreased my throttle to zero, but then I lose the ability to steer left and right. And that's because the air mode is off. And when air mode is off the, and the throttle is at zero, the motor stops spinning. So I found a way to fix it. All you need to do in the, in the remote, you need to go to logical switches and make this simple code, which I show you on the screen. And of course, on spatial function, also do uh, those two lines. So this spatial function enable you to steer the mechan left and right when the throttle is at zero. So as you can see now, the throttle is at zero and I can steer it. So what I've done with the logical switches is very simple. Uh, when the throttle is at zero and we give an input on the left seat going left or right, and both of those conditions are uh, at the same time, the the controller is giving the mechan a, a signal at the throttle that the total position is at the minimum so we can spin his motor going left and right as we can see here 
I'm currently on throttle zero. I don't move it up and it still can turn. So that was my review and build of the new uh, product from iFly, the Mekan FPV car. Uh, I think it's a great addition to our FPV hobby. Uh, I know it's not a drone, but it's used uh, uh, very common parts as a drone, except of the frame. And it also looks cool and it's very fun to drive it uh, line of sight and uh, in, with the goggles. So tell me in the comment what do you think about uh, this new Mekan, if you want to get one for yourself, or you prefer uh, spending uh, your money on other drone parts. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and also consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribing is free and it's helped me a lot and you can cancel it at any time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more.